Okay, well, yes, and I've been very vocal about the fact that starting really in pretty much September, we started buying corn, soybeans, DBA. We also are in sugar, coffee. We've been in and out. We're, we actually added to that position. And the reason is because, well, there's many reasons. Number one is with the, with the pandemic, we had a supply chain disruption, number one. Regardless, countries still need to feed their people, particular China, which has a lot of people to feed. And so the demand for food started to go up while the supply between not only the, the, the chain disruptions and some of the tankers which got stuck and trucks that couldn't get through, et cetera, et cetera. We also had a low labor force. Then on top of all of that, we have La Nina coming up this year, which is a, a drought inducing in, in certain countries like Brazil, but we also had dry conditions even in the United States. And on add on top of that, farmers, because they had such an oversupply for years, cut back on their production. So that was like the perfect storm for creating this surge that we've seen in the commodity commodity prices in the food commodities. And that's really been my theory in terms of what could be the spark for inflation that goes beyond what the Fed can manage. So far, that hasn't happened, but I'm keeping an eye on it. I was going to say, why why own DBA, which is the commodities uh, ETF that actually owns the physical goods and not like, why go about owning DBA? Well, I like the exposure to having all of the different grains in there, number one. But we also own the actual, like you say, we don't own moo, but we own corn, C-O-R-N, wheat, okay. W-E-A-T. Uh, we were in soybeans, S-O-Y-B. Unfortunately, we got out a little too soon before it exploded. Sugar, we trained through cane. And coffee, we trade through J-O. And that's really what I was going to say. If you want to gain exposure to the commodities, well, they're up a lot. And so you have to kind of think about what your risk is. But I think they've just gotten started. I would look for any type of correction as a buy opportunity. I think it's just getting going, quite honestly. Because there's, there's no solution to these problems that are so quick. Now, there's another area that's very interesting to me, and that's agricultural tech. And like John Deere, for example, which that stock has exploded. And I heard you say Kathy Wood owns it. Yes. But there's a few other stocks to be looking at in that space as well. And one of them, I was actually talking about it on Fox Business yesterday, is Seed. It's called Origin. It's a China company that's working on that agricultural technology that we may need to see more of in the future, which is basically creating hybrid seeds. So if you can create seeds, then you can grow more food and you're not necessarily counting on outdoor farming. And I think that's going to be kind of a future here. So that's something to, to look at. So there's still a lot to do in that space. It's high up, like everything. But again, look for consolidation, correction, and you can get in.